Monorepos is basically an architectural concept, which is basically contains all the meaning in its title. Instead of managing multiple repositories, you keep all your isolated code parts inside one repository. Keeping in mind the word isolate, it means the mono repo has nothing in common with monolithic apps. You can keep many kinds of logical apps inside one repo. So for to give an example, let's say I have an application that I'm building, a uh, uh, e-commerce application, and e-commerce application will contain an admin portal, which is built on Next.js, and a backend application that is built on Express.js. And again, I have one more application that is uh, the client-side application, which is again built on Next.js. So uh, with this all application, I will have one repo inside this where all the dependencies let's say that would be typescript configuration it would be uh, my uh, uh, utilities or a design system everything is developed inside one repo and each of this repo can share the things that is across so let's say i have a backend application that is developed and it consists of a type typeface now the same typeface has to be used by the front end application as well so uh, for that we don't have to rewrite this whereas now my backend app we, by developing using mono repo we can uh use the typeface that has been developed by the backend application in my front end as well so that is the concept of the mono repo now before what we used to do is we used to have multiple repos where it used to be like one backend application having a separate repo where the code is so here we are trying to eliminate the concept of repeating the code, repeating like usage of multiple patterns here. So that is where Monorepo came into picture. So now pros and cons. So with this, what we, have, what we are able to do is one place to store all configs and tests. So our TypeScript configuration, ESL configuration, prettier configuration can all be stored at one place. We don't have to rewrite it. Each of this application can be, can reuse it and uh, simplified package publishing. That means I have, if you plan to implement new feature inside a package that is dependent on another, it is very easy because of the shared code. Then easier dependency management. Only one package, package.json is need to reinstall all dependencies. Like let's say I have a load dash that is required by all the application. It is only I have to do it one parent part and my rest of the application will take care of it. I don't have to install it each and every small places. Now reuse of code with shared package while keep, still keeping isolated. It allows you to reuse package from one other package while keeping them isolated from one another. So these are the uh, main advantages that we have on Monorepo. So uh, let's go now in detail of the cons, like what are the disadvantages? So the disadvantages comes into the management. So where we have like, let's say I have a team of 10 people and I want to restrict the access. So out of 10 people, I want four people to only access the backend side of the application and the rest of the six only to access the front end side of the application. So that cannot be done with Monorepo. So it is very difficult to see, like, because it is a lot of commits that goes into. So uh, are we clear? Is there any doubts till here? Or do you guys have any questions? Request. Okay, so I'll continue. So, and higher build time because you have a lot of source code in one place, it will take more time for your CI to run everything and to approve every PR. So, this will, these are the kind of uh, like what we are seeing, but these, even these, whatever we are seeing here, the except the restrict access, the rest of the things are being taken care of by a few of the technologies that are coming in the latest. There are uh, uh, certain uh, uh, companies that are working towards this. One of them is Turbo Repo, which is really working towards the higher build time issues. And uh, and even Facebook is working now by patching Mercular, Mercular uh, to avoid the poor Git performance. So these are the, uh, with the drawbacks, we are seeing even the improvements on Monorepo because it is the latest thing that is being uh, done on the front end and the back end side. 